Hey, hello, what's going on guys? It's Deltree, and I just woke up, but regardless, we are going to play some more Fire Emblem 9 Path of Radiance Maniac mode. On the last part, we got our first taste of day in, and those cheating sons of bitches brought about 50 units to combat our six mercenaries, but we still came out on top because we are just that good. And today, we're going to go on to Chapter 5. I made a few mistakes in the last part, but I'll bring those up as they become relevant. For now, Chapter 5, Flight. Hmm. Oh, yes, I remember this one. This is going to be interesting. So back to the mercenary before we go. It's a little bit more lively than it has been. Lots of people. Father, brother, is that lady Ike rescued? She's awake. Really? Come on, let's greet our guests. Well, she looks awfully important, huh? So how are you feeling? Oh, I, I'm fine. And you are? The name's Grail. I'm the commander of this mercenary company. My lord Grail, you are the one who came to my aid, are you not? I don't know how to thank you. Hold on, the one who found you and brought you here is my son, Ike. If you want to thank somebody, thank him. No, please, that's not... L lord, Ike, was it? You have my gratitude. Oh. Pardon my bluntness, but I have some questions for you. Tell me, who are you? What were you doing in that place? Not talking, eh? Well, we have ways to make you talk. No, Dad, I don't think that's necessary. <laughs> The place where Ike found you was evidently the site of a fierce battle between Crimean and Dayan forces. Do you have some relation to the Crimean royal family? Uh, I make no promises, but we may be able to help you. Will you share your story with us? You took me in and cared for me. I will place my trust in you. My name is Alencia Riddell Crimea. I am the daughter of King Ramon of Crimea. Oh, gotta turn that down a little bit. I don't want feedback, man. There we go. What? You say you are the Princess of Crimea? Who would have saw that coming? <laughs> Except for everybody. <laughs> Sorry. Yes. That's an odd claim to make. I've never heard of King Crimea having any children. That is to be expected. My heritage, my very existence, has never been made public. Why is that? To avoid national turmoil. You see, I was born after my uncle, Lord Renning, and was named the successor to the throne, so... They kept you a secret to avert a possible blood feud. <clears throat> yes, I'm willing to accept that for the time being. I like how it actually makes sense that people don't really instantly recognize her. Just because she's hidden, right? It makes it very political, but at the same time, it's it's logical, so I could buy that. Grail seems to agree. Very well. Let's suppose you are truly Princess Crimea. You must know what's become of the king and your uncle. I would like to hear that news. My father and my mother are dead. They fell at the hand of Ashnard, King of Dayan. My Lord Uncle and the Royal Knights are still battling the Dayan army, I believe. I see. I fled the castle to follow my Lord Uncle's orders and seek refuge in the Kingdom of Galia. And Galia? Yes. We believe that King King. Oh my gosh. Kanegus. Kanegus. I. Shoot, man. Is it ever said out loud in a cutscene? If so, I think I would remember it more, but I'm gonna go with Kanegus. We believed that King Kanegus would grant me sanctuary, so that's where I was going. But we were discovered by Dayan's troops, and I lost my escort of knights. My life, the life that I have now, was purchased with the blood of those brave knights. Does King Dayan know of your existence? Yes. I was told the royals of each nation were informed of my identity in the event of dire circumstances. If that's the case, they must be searching frantically for you. Master Grail, my lord Ike, you said that you were mercenaries, did you not? Please, would you help me get? Would you help me to gain Galia? I beg of you. I have no one, no one else to turn to. So this escalated very quickly. So now we're in uh, employ of a princess, Princess Crimea. Truly, father spoke to her as if she believed that she were telling the truth. I see. What is it, Titania? Mm, it's nothing. I was just remembering something from the past. From the past, Becky you were still a Crimean royal knight. What? How do you know about that? Well, you did talk to that boss about it, and I was kind of right there, so I mean... A long time ago, I heard Shinon and some others talking about it. They keep such loose tongues. Honestly, why would you trust Shinon with anything? I would never tell him. Was it a secret? No, it wasn't, but... Much like I have more experience than you, I also have many more things to worry about. Like Princess Crimea. Well, yes. I myself was unaware of the princess's existence, but... Now that I think about it, she does bear a striking resemblance to both the king and queen. So she probably is the true princess. I wonder what father will do. Will he take her on her request? 
We've got trouble. We've got trouble! <laughs> Sorry. Outside there are soldiers, a lot of them. What? Oh, jeez. You know that's not even half of them. Is everyone here? Yes. Commander, what are the day and dogs saying? Turn over Princess Crimea and leave the area immediately. Comply now or we will attack. Pretty straightforward. What are we gonna do? That's what we're here to decide. One thing has been made very clear by the arrival of our friends outside. So, I would say this confirms her identity as Princess Crimea, wouldn't you say? Yes, but what do we do now? I'd like to hear the opinion of everyone here. Titania, I'd like to hear from you first. You are the most reasonable. The blame for this war rests on the inn. If we ally ourselves with them, the company's reputation will surely suffer. Conversely, if we deliver Princess Crimea safely, our stock will rise in the eyes of our primary employers. Our road is clear. Soren, how about you? There's nothing to think about. We must deliver the princess to Dayan immediately. God, no! <laughs> I've never wanted to punch somebody so bad. But televisions are expensive, so I'm not going to. Even if Crimea is in the right. We are mercenaries. Our actions are dictated by only our self-interest. If we want to ensure our future, we need Dayan in our debt. They will win this war, after all, and nothing else serves us better. Shinon, Gotri. Soren's a pompous superior well, but he's got the right idea. Besides, the destination is Galia, so it's a moot question. I don't care how much we get paid. There's no way I'm going... There's no way under the sun I'm going to stinking beast country. That's racist. Prince Enzalincia. She does possess a certain regal beauty. There's a lot to be said for that, you know. However, I do prefer country girls. A bit cuter and not quite so standoffish. Ah, oh, forget I said that. What are we talking about again? Whatever you decide is good for me, Commander. Uh, yep. <laughs> Surely not thinking with my dick. Certainly not I. Oscar, Boyd, what about the two of you? Please bring us back to reality here. I agree with Captain Titania. If we turn the princess over to the Dayan army, we're essentially giving them permission to kill her. I'm in favor of helping her. That's what heroes are supposed to do, like me, Boyd! Well, Rice, what's your opinion? I believe that none of this hinges on whether she's a princess or not. Refusing to aid someone in need is not something we should ever do. That's what I think. That's right, let's help her. Please, we have to help her. And what about you, Ike? I agree with Titania. I say we help her and take her to Galia. I see. I think I know where you all stand. Well then, here's my decision. We escort the princess to Galia. Fuck you, Soren. Fuck you, Shinon. And fuck you, Gotri. Nah. <sighs> Are you sure that's for the best, Father? Yes. Besides, I think the choice has been taken out of our hands. What? Open your ears and listen. Listen, all of you. Huh? What is it? Uh, I don't hear a thing. Exactly, you moron! Idiot, that's the problem! Don't you think that's a bit odd? Complete silence in all four directions? Oh, uh, so that's what you're talking about. Not only are the animals quiet, but the bugs are silent too. And that is unnatural beyond belief. Which means... We're surrounded. The soldiers aren't waiting for an answer. They already decided to attack. Well, shit. It would appear they had no intention of keeping their side of the bargain. They are planning on lulling us into a false sense of security and destroying every one of us. Probably so. But the deal is, we're not so naive or inexperienced so as to fall for their trap. Everyone, take your positions. We're gonna settle this right now. Oh boy, we get to use Grail. Finally! I've been waiting for this day. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> I'll go and hold the rear entrance. Ike, you're in command here. Don't let the enemy take the front. Got it. Be careful, Commander. Ha, ah, I'll give it a shot. Danger is my middle name. Reporting in, sir. The mercenaries have taken up guards and formed up in the Bailey. Oh? They've sniffed out our plan, have they? Which means they're not an opponent that will be easily fooled. We'll need something special. Shall we continue with the planned attack? No. Princess Crimea is somewhere within the fort. If we use the flaming arrows to try and smoke them out, we might bring the princess to harm. We've been told to do our best to deliver her alive and uninjured. It would be preferable if they were to come out on their own accord. If they do, slay all but the princess. Yes, sir. Well, poop. Right, so the things I was... I, I made, like, a small mistake on. So, this wasn't so much a mistake, but just lack of clarification. Effective damage in this game is only times two, so... That doubly so makes wind magic very pitiful in the long term. 
You can see there the basic wind tunnel has two might, meaning even if I'm dealing effective damage, that bumps it up to a whopping four. The other thing that I was incorrect about was I said Adept was based on speed. It's actually based on skill in this game. I think in Radiant Dawn they changed it to speed, which was where the confusion was. Uh, I think that was about it. Also, I forgot to turn bonus experience back on, so I'm going to do that now while well, I'm thinking about it. Again, I have no idea why this would not be on by default. So you can see that this map is Fog of War, which is just fantastic. I think on normal mode it's actually not. But we're maniacs, so it definitely is here. We have access to Oscar and Boyd again. Ooh, Oscar has the speed wing. Should I use that? I don't know. I kind of want to save it. I know I'm being like so frugal with that stuff, but... Hmm. I guess I'll decide. I want to take a minute, set myself up, yada yada yada. And I will be back. Well, I think this should do. It'd be a lot easier to say if I could see where they are, but again, Fog of War, so there's only so much I can do, really. Uh, now, this map is different than all the other ones that we've seen so far. This is a defend map, so, as you can imagine, if any enemy is to reach this glowing green tile, we lose immediately. It's pretty standard other than that. All we have to do is survive for six turns. If I really wanted to, I could just turtle up and defend right here, and that would be that. But... The boss is down here, and if I remember correctly, he does have something. I don't remember what. I don't remember what at all. But I probably want it, so I'm going to try to get it. I will say that this game does a pretty goddamn good job of keeping the mission objectives varied. I never really feel like we're covering the same ground too much, especially early on, which is... It's to be respected, I think. Do I want to attack this guy? I think I do. I can throw a javelin pretty comfortably. Nope. More like that. There we go. Let's throw a javelin at him. I gave the javelin to Oscar. I don't know if that's smart or not, but I did. Yeah, take it all. And then, because he has a steel lance, uh, I'm going to trade him to the iron lance, and then I'll be able to double him. The javelins are not particularly great in this game, but they become better as the game goes on. That's one of those things where they tried to make weapons like... Like, they made 1-2 to two range weapons a lot worse by making them really heavy, but the problem is that once your strength catches up to their weight, they actually become better than they would be in, for example, a GBA game. So, I commend the effort, but it just it doesn't work out. Let's try to do like that. I don't know where the enemies are. I'm going to bite the bullet here. I'm going to move Ike in, and I am going to use the Angel Robe. I really didn't want to, but I can't think of a better time, and I really want another frontline fighter. Good god, that may have been a mistake. No, 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 no. They are pretty beefy. Which is kind of annoying. Uh, is there not music on this map? I don't think there is. Interesting, interesting. Well, I'm going to murder this guy. I actually can't. That's a bummer. Okay, what I could have done... Actually, yeah, this is, worth, this is worth restarting for. Fog of War, man. Fog of War, man. He's here, so one, two, three. There. So I'm going to shoot a machine on. And then I'm pretty sure I can reach him. Which will let Titania get through. I actually can't reach him regardless, so that was completely pointless. Well, I tried to look smart. Didn't work out. That being the case, I could have Boyd. I could have Boyd kill him. Boyd's not gonna die. He's gonna take a lot. But he'll be okay. And that would let me kill that archer down there. I think I want to do that. Boom, there we go. Break the Iron Axe, too. Yeah, I don't see myself using Boyd long term. He's just not had as much opportunity. Oh, hello. Cavaliers, huh? So in this game, Cavaliers can actually use Kanto as well, which is pretty scary. Man, I really wish she would have gotten strength on that first level, man. She'd be way more threatening if she had. She's still really, like, she's scary. He wouldn't want to meet Titania in a dark alley. But it could be a lot worse. Wait, what? This guy wasn't here last time. Was he? No, he, there's... What? <laughs> what happened? 
I'm so confused. I'm so confused. Am I losing my mind? He wasn't here, right? I... shoot, man. Hmm. Well, that's awkward. I'm going to kill this guy with a hand axe. Actually, I'm going to trade Ike to the Regal Sword, first of all, because that Cavalier is going to be attempted to attack Ike over anybody else, and then I'm going to kill this guy, because I don't like archers. Yeah, get it in, Titania. Wow. She's still so good! A point of strength here would have been fantastic, though, because then I would have been able to kill the Cavalier. Because they can actually take advantage of the re-movement, um, it would be ideal. I'll move her in just a little bit. Oh, no. Boyd is gonna die. <laughs> That's on me. That's on me. Nothing I could do about that, though. Yeah, that'll be... That'll be everything. So he attacks Gotri over attacking Oscar? I guess because he's not going to be retaliated on, but still. Yeah, they're all going after Gotri. Not really sure. Oh, no! He has a hammer! <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> Don't fuck with Gotri. That's right. That was part of the plan, of course. <laughs> oh, no. I'm so lucky. <laughs> So Oscar's going to take a little bit of a beating, but he'll be okay in the end. Unfortunately, I wasn't able to give him his iron thing, his iron lance, which means the damage is going to uh, come a lot more slowly than I would like. Oh, no. And also, we run the risk of being doubled, it would seem. I'm actually terrified for Boyd. Because, like... Ugh. He's, he's pretty bad. He's pretty bad. Oh my gosh, you don't even get the health from the robe on the first turn. I thought you did. Like every other game. But I guess not. They made a huge mistake here though, because I don't think Boyd will kill him. No. So now they're forced to attack Titania. Huh. Unfortunately, that's going to be a lot of the hand axe gone. Oh, she does actually want round them. That was my other fear. I didn't think she would be able to kill them in one turn, but it looks like she can. She is kind of on her own, so in the event that I have messed up and there's like a horse slayer out here, that could be pretty bad. I think we'll be okay, though. She's Titania. I don't know what that really means, but she is Titania. There's, there's a ton of enemies here, man. So many enemies. Does that other fighter have a hammer, I wonder? Because if so, that would be really bad. All right, Titania. All right, Titania. Yeah, have one of those and one of these as well. Nope, he's not going to retreat. I thought he would. I thought he would run back into the darkness, but he seems pretty insistent on trying his luck here. You missed with a sword, dude. Pathetic. Pathetic, man. Not even in a day end can you get good help these days. Alright. You know, I don't actually remember if giving the boss ends the map or not. It might. All I do... He definitely has something. I think it's like a... Like a gem, maybe? I don't think it's a stat booster. Ah, that sucks. But that's the risky run. I only wanted on the hand axe in the event there would be like an archer or something. Good god. They brought everybody. They really want Princess Crimea dead. They really want her dead. Unfortunately, they fucked with the wrong band of mercenaries. Alright, so here's the thing. Um, everybody's really low now. Soren is too weak to do anything significant. Yeah, hmm. This guy only has a steel axe. So I think Gotri is good to continue the tanking. 
Who had the elixir? I gave it to Ike, did I not? I did. Shinon can kill really anybody. I need to kill these Cavaliers, though, because their Kanto is going to make this utter hell. Boyd, as long as I actually leave this guy alive, is completely safe. This guy should retreat and use a Vulnerary, so I'm not worried about him. Hmm. So let's think this all the way through. I can kill this guy with Shinon right now. Yes. I killed this guy with Shinon right now. I think I'm going to have Soren help out on the left hand side. Man, this map is kind of eerie without any music. It makes sense though, it's kind of ambient. It's like the dead of night. And the way they framed it, all the animals have run off and everything. So it's just like this. Oh, a Taurus. Sweet. But yeah, it's just like this overly ambient situation. No, not shove. Staff. Staff up Boyd. Now he can continue to tank. I'm going to have Ike use a an elixir here. If I have him with the Regal Sword, he doesn't double the Sword Cavies, so that's fine. I don't see myself using the elixir at any other point, so this seems like a good a time as any. Soren, Soren, Soren. How does Gotri fare? Oh, he... He murders him. I don't like that he murders him because that means... Well, I couldn't move my cursor for a second there. I don't like that he murders him because that means it's that much harder to give it to anybody else. And again, Gotri has the same availability issues that... the Shinon does, so... There's only so much you can really hope to get out of him before he leaves. I can't attack with Oscar here, but I will switch him over to... the Iron Lance. And I'll heal him up. And he's going to continue tanking based on his pretty decent defense. I guess I have to have... Yeah, I guess I have to have Godfrey do the killing. Well... I guess it doesn't really matter. It doesn't really matter. I'll kill this guy and then hopefully... Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. I am kind of scared to throw Soren in there, though, because it's very possible that he just simply dies. It's very possible that there's another archer right in the darkness there. Hmm. It's, it's pretty sketchy, I won't lie. I want to kill this guy, though. We don't like archers here. We don't like archers here at all. But then again... Do I even want to do that? Should I block in Ike? It might be better to do that. Let's think about it. This guy... 15, 13, 15, 13. I feel like they can definitely kill Ike. And we can't have that happen for obvious reasons. So I'm going to kill this guy and then I'm going to block Ike with Titania. And here Boyd's incompetence is actually going to come in... Uh, it's going to be very useful here because he's not going to kill this soldier. Which means that we can continue tanking. They're going to be forced to attack Titania over attacking anybody else because there's going to be nobody else in range. And I'm going to play on the wild side and I'm going to move Soren in. No, I'm not. I'm a pussy. What am I saying? Because he gets two at KO'd. Yeah, he only has... It's just not wise. It's just not smart. It's just not smart to do that. I can kill this guy, but again, Boyd's just gonna get, he's gonna get destroyed if I decide to do that. What if I attacked him with Soren? I'm fairly certain that you can't actually attack through walls in this game. If I attack with Soren, but then Boyd kills him, right? Yeah. I can do that and then de-equip Boyd, I guess? Because I would like to get Soren more experience, but I would also like him to not die. I'm going to do that. We'll have, we'll have Soren attack this guy, get himself his level. Sea Wind one more time, which is pretty cool animation. The magic in this game looks pretty cool in general. Uh, come on, Soren, big money. Magic luck res. Not terrible, speed would have been great. Speed would have been fantastic, but alas. 
And now I'm going to de-equip his Iron Axe. Yes. In the off chance that they can actually attack me, should I shove Soren? Nah, because then if I do that, he's not going to be in range to help out on this side. So I'm going to leave it be. And we end our turn. Okay, so he just... No, 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 no. I didn't get to point this out, but there are... You see those going bushes, right? Those are actually heal hedges. They sort of act like the forts in this game. And they do what you think they would. You get a little bit of health back every turn you end on them. In addition to the typical avoid bonus. This is going to hurt a lot, actually. I think I killed Oscar. Maybe. Maybe. Oh, no. Please. Not like this. Not like this. No, 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 no. If so, then... That did nothing. If I've killed him, then I can simply have Ike and Oscar change places. I think Oscar is dead. Oh, God. What have I done? Now I'm just so nervous. Does Titania even one round the guys with the swords, by the way? Because, no, she doesn't even come close. They're quite beefy. That's annoying. What about this guy? No, he goes down here. If I hit twice. It's a pretty big hit. There we go. The big issue is that I'm not really worried about Titania, right? It's Oscar where all the action is going to happen. I need to see either a dodge or this. This works too. Provided this doesn't kill him, Oscar lives. Good, good, good. Do not crit. Okay. I would like to see some strength here. That'll do. Terrible level up all around, but strength is all I really needed right now. And since the other horse doesn't have a javelin, we're good to go. This guy's gonna get bopped by Gotri. And now next turn I can heal up Rice. Or I can heal up Oscar with Rice. And I can kill the Axeman because he's the only one who's really threatening Oscar right here. That point of defense I picked up early on came in such clutch right there. He would be so dead if not for that. Godfrey's even getting some nice experience. Okay, so I'm going to do exactly what I said I was going to do. And we're going to heal immediately. Immediately. And I think between Godfrey and Oscar, I can probably kill the fighter. If not, I also have Shannon on my disposal. Magic skill res. Pretty typical mage level up. Pretty typical healer level up. I actually got you by himself, just completely dicks him. That might be the way to go. Mm. Can Soren do anything meaningful? No, he's... Speed there would have been fantastic. I think I would be doubling these guys with some speed. At least this guy, surely. Well, I, what am I saying? I do double that guy. I do double that guy. I don't know, man. We could be doing a lot worse, but we could be doing a lot better. I'll say that. I'm a little bit afraid to do this. But I think enough of the Cavaliers kind of fucked off that I should be good to go. There you go, Boyd. Yeah, man, prove me wrong. Prove me wrong for all the crap I've been talking. I bet you can't do it. Now, Ike. It's probably in my interest to have Ike kill this guy. Yeah, I'll have Ike kill this guy. One, for the experience, and two, because Titania's better served elsewhere, I think. Do I reveal anybody? If so, I can have her murder and then come back to hold down the fort, so to speak. I don't, which is a little bit annoying. Gotri takes this guy on, for sure. He's too scary. He's way too scary. There's only a few more turns left of this. I'm terrified of running forward and just like... <laughs> and putting myself in an unwinnable position. This guy does not double rice, correct? Yes, okay. So we're going to kill the Axeman. God, he came out of nowhere, man. Came out of freaking nowhere. We're good, though. We're good. 
Oh, and even another level for Gotri. Strength? Hey, you got speed that time. His speed is only 25, so that's pretty good. Pretty unlikely at that. Uh, I don't double this guy, but I can start chipping him. If I, wa if I wanted to play it really safe, I would just have Titania kill this guy and then move back. Let's see. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. That might be for the best. On the other hand, I'm not really sure where the boss lies. Let's see. Who's dealing the most? 15. 11. Ah, oh, I should kill the cabby. I'm going to kill the cabby, actually. I'll kill the cabby. No, I won't. Oh, I mean, I will, but... Let's see. Yeah, kill the cabbie. This guy has Iron Lance. Can't believe I haven't pointed this out, but it's very convenient how the game just tells you what items the opponent has equipped. Like, when you when you hover your cursor over them, it just tells you what weapon they have, and that's pretty awesome. That's pretty awesome. It's a really good way to do it, especially because the game hadn't migrated over to the DS by this point, so... It was definitely a big issue that really needed to be resolved. Otherwise, you have to get into the menu every time. You gotta go like this, and it's just like... It, it gets tedious. It gets very tedious. So, Oscar, in theory, kills this guy 80% of the time. Realistically, it's more like 89% of the time he kills this guy, and there we go. Not bad, my dude. And we're gonna continue to tank this point. There's the sortie. I should have checked out his. I should have checked out his stats. Can I? No, you can't actually shoot through walls in this game, which is another thing. Uh, very logical. I approve of that. I approve of that greatly. Hmm. I'm just afraid of Soren getting bodied. Shinon kills this guy with ease. Do I even need to kill this guy, though? I think I shouldn't, just for the simple fact. If anything, I should have Shinon run out here. Let's use this torch. Let's use the torch. I'm going to move him forward a little bit, and I'm going to use the torch. I would like to be able to see. Oh, wow, there's, like, there's, there's nothing. <laughs> there's just nothing. Okay, actually, we're doing pretty well. I'm just so afraid of an archer swooping in here. I'll do it. I'm not going to kill him with Oscar either way, so... It's just chip experience. And this guy should stay in place and block any other potential tile from which Marouge can be targeted. Besides, yeah, you see how much experience he's getting for these chip damage points or whatever, whatever you want to call it. Just for simply attacking, he's getting a lot of experience. He attacks Rice. Of course, of course. But that's fine. That's perfectly acceptable. In a lot of ways, that's preferable, to be honest. Yeah. Now, you can't see it, but there are plenty of reinforcements that are spawning over on that left-hand side as well. So, even if we clear out these enemies, there's always that to think about. I can't believe how lucky I got with Gotri there. That's such a bastard move, though. I mean, it's Fog of War, man. You can't do that. You can't just throw a friggin' hammer at me, man. And they know that you're going to send Gachi over to the left-hand side as well, so it's not like... It's not like it's not intentional. Okay, now given that Shinon still has the torch available, I'm going to move him in. He won't die no matter what. Oh, good god. <laughs> That's a lot of people. Oh, it's only a goddess icon. Man, I don't care about that weenie. That's such a worthless... Whatever, I'm already in. Steel Lance, Iron Lance, Iron Lance. Basically just checking out any potential Horse Slayers. This guy has an Iron Blade, hello. If I go here and I throw a Hand Axe, I should be able to block the other tile with Ike. Yeah, I can do that. I can go here, throw a Hand Axe. Move back after killing this guy and then block the tile with like. Titani's in no danger. She never really is. And from there we can proceed to draw the boss, even, I think. 
Mm, it depends. It depends. Ike won't be in danger, right? Steel bow. 14 damage. 15 damage. 16 damage, actually. 14 plus 16, so that's 8 plus 10. Plus 8? No, plus 12. Hello. Ike would get destroyed, so let's not do that. Yeah, I can't afford to do that. He would get rocked. Uh, unfortunately, I think Shinon's gonna have to take a hit. I think so. Well, nothing I can do about that. I really wanted to see what was down here. And besides, Shinon, again, he's not gonna die. He has a whopping 9 defense at base. Soren still can't kill this guy. <laughs> I do think it's in my interest to do that, though, because then... It's a pretty simple matter of having Oscar finish him off. Although... Hold up. Six damage. Oscar deals only seven. Here's where I'm afraid again, though, because... You know, I'll go for the kill on the archer. I'll go for the kill on the archer. And then I think I can actually... Nice. Nice. And then I can actually have Boyd move in as well, to the left-hand side. Because if I do that, I kill the archer. I should kill the archer with Soren, if anything. Yeah, I'll do that. I'll kill him with Soren. Like so. There we go. And I think I can move Oscar to the point, like right here. I should be able to afford that. Uh, again, unless there's some Hail Mary Horse Slayer sitting in the wings. By doing that, it would also allow me to kill this guy with Boyd. I should heal up Oscar first though, obviously. And the reason I want to move in that way is so that... Well, basically... That way Rice won't get sniped. I could also rescue Rice, but it's a little bit sketchier. It's a little bit sketchier, I feel. So I do this, I'm only really facing 3 damage. Which is basically 0. These cavies are so beefy though, I must admit. Very difficult to take on at this point in the game. Getting plenty of experience from my guys though. Let's see. Yeah, he should be alright. What I'm really debating is if I want to actually kill this guy or not, because if so, there could very easily be an archer hiding, like, right here who could just swoop in and murder Rice. I could shove Rice out of the way. Or I could unequip my Iron Axe and tank with my face. I think it's the safest to do the, to do this. Unequip, use a vulnerary, and wait. Now, as long as Ike can't be targeted by everybody and their mom, I don't mind getting him in here. Although, nah, 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 nah. I'll just, I'll leave him right here. I want him kind of close, but the, the reality is I would rather have them attack Titania. Yeah. Unfortunate, she's gonna break her hand axe, which means I'm gonna have to give the javelin back to her. That should be good, though. So this one is turning out to not be too bad at all. I say that, but again, being Fog of War, there could be anything anywhere. Not bad, Oscar. We're getting him there. We're getting him there. No, they're going to attack Oscar. Probably a smart move. <sighs> that was a risk that I was willing to take. I knew that by moving in Boyd, he could get crits far more easily, but what can you do? The other guy's going to attack Boyd. Here comes a knight that's going to attack Shino, and that's fine. Like, how badly do I really need that Ashura icon? Like, not very. This guy's walked right up to Ike. I don't know why. <laughs> God. Shinon looks so bored when he's dodging. 
Okay, this guy attacks Boyd, as predicted. But it's fine, it's fine. That's exactly why. That right there is exactly why we didn't want to leave Rice unprotected. Huh. That is a little bit awkward. Ooh, that's a clean animation. I like that. Not sure where he got the second spear from, but it looked cool at any rate. Oh yeah, Tatani's just messing these guys up. It's an absolute massacre. I know animations are fun and all, but I really feel as though I should turn her animations off, at least in the early game, because, like, these enemy phases would be so much shorter. I mean, I think we get it, right? Tatani kills everything. That's just what happens. They are really nice to look at, though, I'll admit. Okay, that hurt a little bit. You're gonna have to do a little bit better than that, though, in order to get one over on old Shinon. They're gonna break her hand axe and then start targeting her, right? That's what's gonna happen? I think so. Nothing I can really do about that, though. I would really like to get that Ashura icon if I can make it happen, maybe. At the end of the day, though, I'm getting a ton of experience for Tatani, which is good. And there's really nobody else that can safely take on this number of enemies, so it's not as much of a loss as you might think. Truthfully, who else am I going to send out here? Maybe Gotri and Oscar could potentially handle these guys, but not nearly as well. Not nearly as well. This is going to hurt, but I should kill him, actually. Yep. I may have to run away, though. It really just depends on how many more horses... I don't see anymore, but that doesn't mean anything. Yeah, I feel like I overextended Ike. That could be dangerous. This guy's gonna die, which is great. Messing with Shinon, huh? Well. I can see already, though, this game is very enemy phase dependent, isn't it? Some games tend to lean more towards player phase. Uh, mostly just fates, to be honest. Conquest is very player phase heavy. This game is very enemy phase heavy, so... We'll be seeing a lot of this. We'll be seeing a lot of positioning on the player phase to make for the most on the enemy phase. At least that's how I see it. Ooh, I can gimp him. I can gimp him. What's going on? Weren't they supposed to be completely surrounded? Well, I'll tell you what your mistake was. You didn't account for Titania. Or Shinon, for that matter. Jeez Louise, that is an armor knight. You can't just be dealing that much damage as an archer. Alright, here comes the Iron Blade. This could hurt. Yeah, that hurts a little bit. We have to fall back and allow... Yeah, I have to fall back. There, you can actually see the reinforcements. If everybody attacked Dyke, would he die? 12. Uh, 10. 10. Oh, shit. That's bad. Uh, well. Oscar would live, though. Oscar would live. So I basically have to fall back. Uh, kill this guy on the way. Yeah. And then Titania and Oscar can choke the boy. I don't need the Ashura Icon that badly. Ooh, that was a hit. That was a heavy hit. Not by itself, but all, all things considered, Titania is a little bit too low for this. Let's see, it's turn 5. I can maybe still make it happen. Probably not. It depends if the boss continues to move or not. Yeah. I think this is my way to go. So I'll have Boyd continue to choke this point. 
Yeah, that'll be fine. Boyd can choke that point. Oscar can move in here next to Titania. They'll all attack him, but they won't be able to kill him, and he's going to get some nice experience as well. Yeah, I'll do that. Nothing lost. Then Rice can heal him on up. Okay, we should be pretty much set. Shinon can move back. I don't know that I need to heal him, but I'm going to. And then I can move back also. <sighs> yeah, I'll just Mulnery. No need to get crazy. And seeing as though this guy is not going to move, or he's not going to die, I can work on him with Soren. Surprised I didn't get a depth there because it would have screwed me. Yeah, he's having a very rocky start. Who's left? Oh, Godfrey, of course. Of course. Now, if I could have gotten this to Titania, I would have gimped the boss. I don't think it makes a difference, though. I don't think it makes any difference. Okay, Oscar. Show us why they call you... I don't know what they call Oscar. A badass, I guess? Here comes the level up. Let's see big money, big money. Speed... Oh, Jesus Christ, dude. I can't... I can't. Oh, no, he has his weapon. Well, that worked out. That worked out. That worked out. My biggest fear there was obviously that... He'd be attacked by too many guys if I left him on his weapon, but... I don't see it happening unless there's a bunch of weakened guys that I've forgotten about, which is certainly a distinct possibility. I think that with the Cavalier retreating, though, he should be okay. He'll only ever be able to attack, to be attacked by two angles. Not sure why he went for this guy. Not sure why he went for Gotri. Really makes no sense when you think about it. Well, your funeral, man. Yeah, see, this guy has the right idea. I think if I would have gotten very unlucky, Boyd could have died. But then again, it would be getting very unlucky, because they'd have to actually hit me. And Steel Lance is not the most accurate, particularly with Weapon Triangle at my side. Uh, Oscar might double this guy now, at the very least. Good dodge. Good dodge. Yeah, he doubles and he actually two round KOs. Mm. As much as I would very much love to go at the boss, I think I'm going to pass up the Asher icon. Yeah, it just doesn't seem safe. Doesn't seem safe at all. Ooh, look at that. That's a kill for Soren. That is a kill for Soren if I ever saw it. So let's grab that. There we go, bud. Is that going to be a level for Soren, though? That's the big question. I don't think so. No, ugh, he keeps coming just short every single map. Hmm, you know, I'd really like to kill this archer. He's quite annoying. Let's see, 17 minus... So he would take 10. 10. And this guy dealt... 5. So as long as I do this, Boyd's totally safe. And then we should be good. We should be totally good. Could have Oscar. Yeah, I'll have Oscar go with this guy. He probably kills him. And that would be just fantastic. Oh, baby! Stab him right in the horse. Not sure why the guy on the horse dies from that. Thinking too hard about it, I guess. I'm not even sure I need to heal Oscar after that. Ike could. No, he doesn't double him. Never mind. Never mind. I can have shit on run out here, and there's really nothing I would lose from that, but the thing is, I don't really gain anything either. Ooh, Ike gets a kill, but I mean, really. Actually, he wouldn't be in any danger. Unless there's another friggin' hammer dude over here. There might be. 
Honestly, I'll just use the Regal Sword. And then Gotri can take point, which will leave Ike open to attacks from only one angle. Besides, I want to pick up this level. Let's see it. Strength, magic, luck. Uh, I mean, uh, <laughs> right. Could be a lot better, could be a lot worse. And I can kill this guy with Gotri. I don't lose anything. Let's do it. Oh, you want a piece of Gotri, do ya? Yeah. Gotri is so good at this point in the game. Very, very strong unit. Let's see here. I mean, right? I don't lose anything. And besides, I want to try and keep Rice safe. In case something really weird happens. So, in order to do that... Actually, I can just move him away, to be honest. I don't need to heal anybody. Yeah, I really don't. But I would also like to level up Titania. Oh man, decisions, decisions. She's not gonna die. Final answer. Oh my god, I wasn't watching my uses. Oh god, yeah, I'll move her back and then... Oh god, she's <laughs> she's running so low on supplies. I guess that's what happens when you're a one-man army. One-woman army. Use Royce, heal up. And that's going to be the map. Provided nothing really strange happens. Yeah, they're going to go at Ike, but it doesn't matter. Oh, he even gets a dodge. My dude. Ike is starting to be pretty decent, but... Yeah. I just need to see more defense. That's where I'm really concerned right now. Because that hit right there would have done a ton. Ah, gonna go out Sheen on. See, there's where Provoke comes in. It's really unfortunate that I couldn't get that to work in the last map. He's gonna attack Oscar. I hope I didn't kill Oscar. I might have killed Oscar. Shit. No, wait, what am I saying? What am I saying? He's never gonna kill this guy, and then now the Cavaliers can't attack. Yeah, shoot to Tanya. See if I care. Tank. Oh, no. Just straight up gonna miss, huh? Pathetic. Oh, God. The boss moved. He was moving. He was moving. Well, he's still never gonna kill Oscar, is the point that I'm trying to make. So we're fine. I really wish I had one more turn, though. Because I could have killed him right here. Ah, how they've lasted this long. Just who are these mercenaries? Knowing your enemy's strength is vital to any strategy. Soldiers, retreat. We will fall back for now. You would. Is that all you got, Dayan? Please. We've cleared the surrounding area of Dayan troops. There's no question about it. We're enemies of the Dayan kingdom now, aren't we? We've no time for rest. Everyone, pack your things now. We leave at once before the enemy brings reinforcements. Understood. Boyd, come with me. Right behind you, bro. Yeah, bro! Ah, we've got to hurry, too. Come on, Rolf. we got to pack as much food and supplies as we can. Uh, whatever you say. Let's go, miss. Titania, take shit on Ngatri and make sure we have a secure road from here to the Great Forest. We'll make our way to Galia through the Sea of Trees. On my way, sir. Rice, you stay with me. I want you to help me pull essential documents from the library. Everything else we burn. Y yes, sir. Aye, right, you're in charge of the princess. All right, Princess Alincia. I'm gonna ready my. I'm gonna ready a horse for you. What should we have you do? I know. Go to the mess hall. I'm sorry. Time will go by faster if you're helping Miss than it will if you're just sitting around waiting for me. Oh, I understand. I can do that. Sorry, this is kind of awkward. Making a princess help with packing. Please don't worry, Miss. I just hope that I don't end up slowing you down by getting in your way. 
Don't be silly. You're so much better at this than I am. It's a big help. Are all princesses as good as you at this sort of thing? Haha, <laughs> I wasn't raised in court, so my life was a bit different than other princesses. I cooked, cleaned, sewed. Why, I did all manner of things. Really, that's surprising. I would have never guessed that by looking at you. Oh, shoot. Oh, no. Oh, God. I just spilled my drink. <laughs> Hold on. Okay, well, that was fun. Let's see. I also rode horses, practiced sword fighting. Ah, miss, what's that around your necklace? What? Oh, uh... I'm sorry, I didn't mean to... I guess I can show it to you, Princess Alincia. It's nothing special. It's just this glowing medallion. God, you think that would freak you? Uh, that would freak me out, man. <laughs> oh, it's a lovely... That's an incredible medallion, isn't it? I wonder what the light is. It used to belong to my mother. It's all I have to remember her by. Uh, I don't know where the light comes from, but it's pretty cool, right? It didn't used to be like that. A while back, it just started glowing, <laughs> and that raised no alarms. Okay, well, the world is full of mysteries, isn't it? One thing is clear, though. It certainly is beautiful. I wonder what that light means. Probably nothing important. Oh, well. What? What did you just say? I think I must be hearing things. I thought you just said they got away. Oh, God. <laughs> this girl. This girl. Oh, jeez. General Petrine, I am deeply ashamed. By my honor. Honor? I care nothing for your pathetic honor. Have you forgotten the Dayan's army's motto? Success or failure, life or death. Hey you, get this trash out of here. Yes ma'am, move it you. Well, wait, General Petrine, have mercy. Dog's breath. I'm surrounded by worthless imbeciles. Ina. Tell me which way we should move to catch these mercenaries and the girl. The Crimean capital, Melior, is already under King Ashner's control. The remnants of the Crimean army The remnants of the Crimean army are negligible. Which means the only place left for the princess to turn is south, to the kingdom of Galia. Ha, so the girl like her dead father before seeks the friendship of those hairy devils, eh? What an absolutely stupefying world we live in. If she gangs sanctuary in Galia, capturing the princess will become that much more difficult. The mercenaries she has escorting her are a powerful group, not one to be taken lightly. I will gather intelligence on them as quickly as... It's not necessary. I will head up the pursuit of our wandering princess. General Patrine, you're going yourself? If we know where the princess and her band are headed, there's no need for subtlety. I'll just hunt them down and kill them all. Mercenaries? <sighs> what are they to me? Remember, I am General Patrine. No matter who I face, I have never failed, nor will I ever. Is that right? We'll see if you're still singing that tune by the end of this game. How long has it been? I don't know. Hold on. Long enough, I think. Yeah, I can't see myself being able to fit in another one, even if the next one isn't that long. Wow, man. Keeping animations on for an entire chapter really make a difference in this game, don't they? Wow. I don't know if I'm going to have them on all the time, but for today, we did. We got one chapter done. Pretty fun. Pretty fun chapter. I like it. The Fog of War makes it kind of not really luck based, but you sort of have to really weigh your options when you're moving because there's no telling what's around that next corner, right? Not a bad chapter overall, though. And it's, again, it's very f interesting that they vary the they vary the objective so much. I don't remember it being like that, but I don't think we've had two maps that had the same objective in a row. So let's see. The first one was Seize. Then we had a Route. Then we had, what was it? defeat the boss. Oh, I guess we had two defeat the boss chapters, I suppose. But still, it, it's, it keeps it interesting, at the very least. Anyways, thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this, feel free to leave a like, comment, do whatever you guys want to do. Thanks for the support I've been getting on this series, by the way. You guys are the best. Anyways, guys, till next time, have a good one. Peace.